All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to go through and clean a bunch of these cold chisels and punches, as people call them. They're just chisels. Got a couple of them there. Look like they're craftsmen, that there might be. No, that's a Thorson. No, that's a craftsman. This one is. That's a Thorson. Oh well, clean them up. I guess I can probably, I don't know, that one's, the pitting is in, in past the chrome, so it's a craftsman. Probably gonna have to just clean that up and paint them. That one's bent pretty good. It's a Mayhew 70. I'll straighten it up, paint it, clean all the ends up because it's it's a mushroomed on the end, so I'll clean them up. I'm gonna go ahead and clean this uh it says Wurtz Fruit Company, Lawton, Oklahoma. These I back in the day these were given as uh uh oh advertisements. Sometimes they were free. Sometimes you had to buy a certain amount, got them. Anyways, I'll clean that up. Got a nice chisel here. It's a Mayhew. It's starting to, starting to pit. Yeah, this one definitely needs some work. It's rusted pretty good. Like I said, I think the best thing to do is just clean these up and paint them. I don't see any this is just a driver pin. I don't know what it was used for originally. I keep it around to hammer on things. This is another, this is kind of unique. This is snap-on. Pretty sure it is a snap-on. I got one just like it. Yeah, snap-on right there. Anyways, I'm gonna clean this up. Just I'll just paint it. The other one I chrome, I polished the end of it. But uh, and the fork, I'll do the same thing. It's just a Chinese fork. I'll clean the end up on it. It's boogered up pretty good, but uh, it's starting to rust. So, but the best way to protect these anymore is when they get to this point. Probably just go ahead and paint them. It's not like I'm gonna. You use these very often, but they're handy to have. Yeah, they just need to be cleaned up. Reworked. Get rid of the mushroom heads. Uh, I'm not sure what kind of... I guess that's just a, a little center punch. Maybe someone made that. Not sure. I'll leave it the way it is. Just clean it up. And go from there. This one. This one's a nice little center punch. It's still good. It actually feels new. A couple of these are, about half of these were in a fire two years ago in the bottom of the toolbox. So they stayed pretty good from the heat. Just water got on them. And the rest of them I've been buying for the last two years. All right. Well, let's go clean up a few and I'll show you a little bit as I go.
a few uh, surprises out of them. Several Mayhews, Craftsmen, a couple of no-names. And uh, let's see here, Endress. It's a Globe, Globe Master, which is uh, Japanese. Several Craftsmen, there's another Craftsman. And it shows to be a WF. I have to look up who made it for Craftsman WF. Anyways, there's that Mayhew that's still bent. I gotta fix it. Uh, one proto out of all this, I think. Another Endress. This this is a good chunk of metal. That Craftsman it cleaned up good. Gotta work on the head, take it down. Yeah. A couple little nice ones here and there. This is a beefy monster too. I don't know. No name on it, but it's it's a solid chunk. And then like I said, that's a snap-on. Cleaned up really well. Alignment tool, that's a little pry bar alignment tool. One of these. I'm not sure which one. It said alignment tool on it. Not for impact use. Craftsman for lineup use only. Which I've never seen that before. And you can see the pitting. Yeah, I'm just gonna like I said, I'm just gonna clean these up and then paint them. Paint all the red all of them. That way so they don't rust or keep the rust down. Anyways, let's uh work a little bit on the belt sander. Clean some of these up. Alright, be right back. Alright, I'm gonna clean. I have some of these chisels and cleaned up just a little bit, so what we can do.
these are just about ready to paint. That's the one that was bent. I straightened it up. And it's a Mayhew quarter. Like I said, this is a Wurtz Fruit Company pry bar. Paint them all blue. I cleaned that off best I could. Uh, I probably could polish that up and make it look really nice, but I'm just going to paint them. Uh, all these, just paint all of them, including the snap-on. Took the top edge off of that, cleaned it up real good. That one, that one, all these. Cleaned up the tops of them. Cleaned the top of that one real good. I think I may have showed that in a video, I don't know. Anyways, a lot of craftsmen in here. So that's a craftsman. It's a WF. That's the maker mark. I need to look up who made that. That's several of the craftsmen in here. Anyways. That's uh, what I got before I paint them. So, next, hopefully, you see it'll be painted. All right, guys. I don't know how this is going to work out, but, anyways, this is it. On, I finally cleaned up all my chisels and punches, everything. <laughs> I missed two. And, of course, they're both craftsmen's. Can't believe I missed them. These are really good shape too. They're both of them Craftsman WF series. I'll get them, try to clean them up tomorrow. But uh, bar turned out good. Works Fruit Company. Lawton. This snap on. Like I said, I got two of them. This one's chrome or uh, painted. The other one I polished uh, another fork separator other one has a tighter uh, uh, opening I don't know what brand this is oh this is Mayhew one inch the bar turned out real good round style I have no idea what this is what this is or what it's for but I cleaned it up it's good to drive a anchor or bolt through a hole if you have to. Anyways, not a bad little collection of uh, odd and end punches and chisels. And the one that was bent, I can't believe it was this one. Yeah, I believe it was this one. Straightened it up and then tried to reprofile the end turned out all right. Uh, I need more practice with profiling ends of chisels and stuff. Anyways, there was one that I did not do a very good job on. Oh, it was this one. This one is, uh, I don't really know what chisel this is. I should have cleaned up the end a little better on this one, but I didn't do. But I tried to profile the base, the the point of it and I need a little more work anyways it's uh, takes a little practice kind of like sharpening a knife it's uh, it's an art in itself and profiling chisels is an art one you don't want to get it too hot and keep it cool but all these ha uh, oh, look at that I missed it I missed that one I'll be darn yeah, I need to fix that one. But the rest of them turned out really nice. Cleaned up the tops of them. This one was pretty good shape to begin with, but the, that one I cleaned up. Several of these I cleaned up. This one I cleaned up real well. That's a beefy chisel right there. That's just nice to have. Yeah. It goes along with the rest of my I guess I'm going to store these separate from the, the files. I just uh, put most of them on the end of my table here. But uh, anyways, I hope you like what I've done. Guys, if you would, subscribe. Hit me a thumbs up if you like what you see. 
If not, let me know what uh, I need to do. Anyways, that'll be it for this one. Thanks.